Hey there, so in this lecture, I will show you another usage of the git reset command. So here we'll be dealing with git reset and a particular commit ID. We'll have the soft option as well as hard option. So let's use the git log command dash dash one line, press enter. Okay, so let's assume that we'll reset our repository to this commit ID. Okay, so let me show you the command. So you use the git reset and then as we said that we decided to reset to this commit ID. So let's paste the commit ID here and let's press enter and let's check the log once again. Git log dash dash one line, press enter and here you go. And here you can clearly see that this particular commit ID which was ahead earlier has been reset to this commit ID which means the entirely the fifth commit is missing here since we have reset it to the fourth commit. Now say one of the particular use case can be something like this that in our fifth commit I actually changed both Jimmy's timetable file as well as Goldie's timetable file and committed them in a single shot and that resulted in this commit ID. So in a real scenario there can be something like this that instead of these two changes what I showed you right now you can have more than two changes say there are 50 changes in 50 artifacts or files and you don't actually want to see your commit history having a single commit for all those 50 artifacts rather you want to have say five commits in smaller chunks and each commit will incorporate say 10 artifact changes each. In such case this git reset command will come in handy where you can reset your commit history to a previous commit and you can recommit your changes in smaller chunks. Now let me clear the screen using control L and let's issue a git status command. So git reset command has not only removed the fifth commit from the commit history but also unstaged the changes that were made in the fifth commit and retain the changes in the working directory. So these are the actual changes that were made in the fifth commit and they have been retained in the working directory and now we are ready to commit them in smaller chunks. Okay, now I'll show you how to recommit the modifications in smaller chunks. So we'll use git add command for this purpose. So we'll add first the Jimmy stable. So let's press enter and here we have added Jimmy stable. Now we need to commit it using git commit dash m and it should not be am that is not the express commit. So let's add a simple message which is first commit dash post reset. Press enter and here we have a single insertion. So let's do a git status. Okay, let's first clear the screen and let's do a git status once again. And here you can see the Goldie's timetable modification is still waiting out there to be added to staging area and then to be committed. So let's add this modification to using the git add and then the Goldie's timetable. Press enter and let's commit these changes using the git commit command with the simple m option and not the express commit. So we'll add it as second commit post reset and press enter and here we have our commit done. So let's do it a git status once again and here we have our working directory clean. So let's clear the screen and let's do a git log once again. Git log dash dash one line press enter and here we go. So if you remember the reset was done till this particular commit and then we wanted to add our modifications in smaller chunks. So here you have our first commit post reset and here is our second commit post reset. Now here I will show you the usage of git reset commit command with a hard option. Now this is one of the most destructive command 
and so use it with care. So let's check the history using the git log dash dash one line and we are in the git reset demo file repository. Press enter and here we have a series of five commits. Unless for some serious reason we have decided that we don't want these two commits at all. So not only do we want these two commit that is the fourth and fifth commit to be removed from commit history but also we want to remove all the changes that we have made in these two commits. So before I want to show you the command in action so that you better understand let me show you the contents of the files as well. So the first is a Jimmy's file. So here is the Jimmy's file and next is Goldie's file. So here is the Goldie's file. Now if you remember that in our first lecture on this reset section we said that each of the line corresponds to each of the commit. So this is the first line for Goldie's file and for Jimmy's file and this is the first commit that corresponds to that particular commit history and so on this is applicable for all the commits and for all the rest of the line in each of the two files. So now I want to reset the commit history to this commit id with a hard option which means so not only these two commits will disappear from the commit history but also all the changes related to these two commits will disappear from the corresponding artifacts. So actually these are the two changes which correspond to the two commits above in Jimmy's timetable file and these are the two changes which correspond to those two commits in Goldie's file. Okay so let's clear the screen and let's do a git log once again and as I said that I will reset the commit to this particular commit id. So let's copy the commit id and let's issue the git reset command with a hard option and then the commit id. Press enter and here you go. So git responds with this very important message. It says head is now at this particular commit id which is a third commit. So let's do a git log once again using git log dash dash one line. Press enter and here it is. You can see that these two commit have disappeared from the commit history and the head now points to here. Now what will be more interesting if we check the contents of the files. So we'll use the arrow key retrieve our earlier command. So here is the Jimmy's table and let's inspect Goldie's time table as well. So you can see the only three lines are here for Jimmy's timetable file and only three lines are here for Goldie's timetable file and those two lines for each of those files corresponding to these two particular commits have disappeared along with the commit history. So let's summarize what you have done so far. So the git reset commit with a hard option moves the current branch tip backward to the commit id we are using and resets both the staging area and the working directory to match. This destroys not only the uncommitted changes but all commits after the commit id in question as well. So the commit id in question here was this one.